first question to you would be, what is one of your most embarrassing moments in your ministry? Oh my gosh, I have so many of them. Um, <laughs> let's see, one could be uh, the day that I was dancing. I had a, we had just had three uh, children in three and a half years. And so I was on the platform of our church and I was dancing and my slip fell off right to the floor. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. That was a little embarrassing. Um, <laughs> yeah. But uh, another one was uh, had to do with undergarments as well. And I, it was back in the, the 80s when we used to wear these humongous shoulder pads. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, most of the kids are not going to remember these, but they, they were these. I guess the idea was if we had big shoulders, it would make our waist look really tiny. I think smaller. that was the idea. But we used to Velcro them into everything. And one day while I was. I had this couple in a chair and I was had my hands on them and I was prophesying over them. And as I was prophesying, I had my eyes shut. Well, my shoulder pad came loose and kind of worked its way oh, down no. the front of my shirt and dropped into the man's lap. Oh my God. And the man is going like, ah, get it off, get it off. <laughs> and I said, could you please hand me my shoulder pad because I wanted to be very clear what kind of pad it was that he had on his lap. And so that's that was good. probably one of my most embarrassing ministry moments. So <laughs> that, that's hilarious. Okay, so my next question would be, what would you tell your younger self? if God gave you the opportunity to go back? Oh, what an, what an interesting question. Um, well, something that I've told my children um, as, uh, as uh, they've grown up, um, to me a, a valuable piece of advice is that you can never control the way that other people act, mm -hmm. but you can always control the way that you react. Mm -hmm. And I think that if I had that piece of wisdom and that piece of advice to anchor me, it may have helped me through some difficult situations where we dealt with people, because you know ministry is people, yes, and uh, sometimes it is dealing with difficult people. And my husband and I have always believed that if we can control the way we react, that um, that we can bring God's grace, God's kingdom, God's peace into any situation. Yes, so. that's good. That's what my mom used to tell me. Very. Good. I know you're not her age, <laughs> but. <laughs> um, so the last question we'll ask you is. What do you see for the future of Christ for the Nation? I think that Christ for the Nation is really in a crossing over season. And I believe that they're really coming into a real day of awakening for themselves as an institute. And I believe that many of the things that Gordon Lindsay really saw years and years ago are actually just now coming into a place of reality. And I really believe that this, this institute is going to once again begin to be a, a place where the gathering and the sending to the nations, as it's been through the years, but I believe that it's going to be a catalytic force mm. in the church. And it's going to be that which is poured into the students, but as the students go out, every one of them are going to be fire starters of awakening wow. and fire starters for the Reformation. And so I really see a brand new thing that where the students come in, they're not just going out with a head full of Bible knowledge, mm -hmm. but they're really going out with a fire that is going to catch fire everywhere that they go. And so I do see growth, I see increase, I see expansion, and I see a whole, kind of a, not that the old atmosphere was bad, because it was it was good for the season, mm -hmm. but I see a new explosive dynamic season of signs, wonders, and miracles. This this place is established on the the move of the Holy Spirit and established on healing and miracles. And I feel like what it was started on that was foundational. Mm -hmm. That was just the beginning. Yeah. That was just baby steps. And I feel like what God's going to do out of this institute is going to be so incredible and so phenomenal that people are going to come from all over to come, not just to learn, but to get healed. Wow. So Amen. I'm excited to hear about Amen. what God's going to do in the future. That's so. awesome. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure.